This video presents closure element types used at openings objects. New predefined options for common closure types are available for windows and doors. Let's have a look at some examples. Let's first see the plaster reveal type. Here you can see a window inside a brick wall that has a plaster finish on both sides. Let's select the window and open its settings dialog. Let's choose the wall closure entry from the pop-up on the basic window settings tab page of the dialog. Here we can select predefined closure types from the drop-down list. Let's select the plaster reveal closure type from the list. Please notice that the closure types are generated correctly only if they are placed in composite walls having proper skin definitions. Let's check the Consider Skin as Plaster checkbox. This option will maintain the thickness of the external skin of the wall within the reveal. Let's also check the Show in 3D checkbox. At the Select Skin to Edit field, we can choose any of the left or right skins of the composite wall to be edited individually or together. Here we can also specify to consider the inside or the outside face of the wall. With the help of the last drop-down menu, we can specify the number of editable skins of the composite wall. Let's click OK now and investigate the result on the floor plan. Please note that the plaster finish of the wall is turned in up to the frame of the window. Let's suppose that we need a thicker insulated reveal plaster. Let's open the window settings once again and uncheck the Consider Skin as Plaster checkbox. Here we can manually specify the thickness of the turned plaster. Let's click OK to apply these changes and to check out the results. Please notice that the thickness of the turned plaster has increased. Let's see another example for an insulated reveal. Here you can see a window placed in an insulated brick wall. Let's select the window and open its settings dialog. Let's choose the insulated reveal type option at the wall closure page of the dialog. For the first skin, let's check the Consider Skin as Plaster checkbox and also the Show in 3D checkbox. Let's select the second skin on the bottom. Uncheck the Consider Skin as Plaster option and the separating line at Turn In option checkboxes. Let's also add 40 mm custom thickness here. Notice that in some cases, when we select a new closure type, a yellow exclamation mark appears next to the closure type. This means the reveal type was changed automatically on the previous reveal settings page. Let's click OK to accept these changes and see the changes in the floor plan view of the window. Here you can see an insulation closure for renovation reveal type. Let's display the window selection setting. And notice that the insulation closure for renovation closure type is already selected. We will modify only the second skin this time. Let's check the separating line at Turn In checkbox and change the hatch orientation as well. Let's click OK to accept these changes and investigate the results. Here you can see a finish closure reveal type. Let's open the window settings dialog and notice that we have a slightly different wall closure settings panel here. Let's check the insulation strip checkbox here and enter 20 millimeters for its value. Let's click OK to accept these changes and to display the updated window on the floor plan. Finally, let's see an airspace closure type. Here we would like to extend the outer insulation layer up to the turned wood cover. Let's display the window settings dialog where we can see almost the same settings panel as earlier. Let's enter 1 for the number of skins to turn. This will turn only the first outer skin. Let's display the Reveal Display page. And here, select the third reveal type. Finally, 
Let's click OK to accept these changes and have a closer look at the updated representation of the window on the floor plan.